I feel like we could just like shake this motherfucker and I've said it before and I'll say it again, man. Pennsylvania is like the Fertile Crescent. The mission was a success. Experimentation has always been at the core of, of, of my personal enjoyment and fulfillment from the brewing process, meaning that I get a kick out of throwing weird shit into the kettle. The reason for getting out of bed some, some days in the morning is, is just wondering what, what the day's brew is going to hold. Special ingredients require special processes, special thought, and that's just that furthering of, of one's craft really intrigues me. For instance, stumble across a strange spice in the woods, do a little research, figure out that it's edible, uh, and then, you know, formulate a beer that complements uh, and furthers the, the, the characteristics of that spice or of that fruit or of that vegetable. We're essentially brewing a pretty hoppy saison with a, um, it's actually an invasive local fruit. We just landed from harvesting 10 some odd pounds of these dainty little uh, trifoliate oranges. Uh, from about five minutes away in an undisclosed location. It's, it's generally described as inedible because it's so, so bitter and sour, but uh, we will be just zesting it lightly. It's, it's pretty pungent from what I can tell of my, my brief sort of experimentation with it. 20 seeds per half in this thing. We're going to be marrying this very um, piney, acidic fruit with uh, real sort of piney, uh, peachy, mangoey hops uh, to create a really nice sort of IPA fermented with Saison yeast. It's a total mutt. This is uh, the juice of what looks to be uh, milk from the uh, trifoliate oranges. It, it's like the most bitter grapefruit no, <laughs> I've ever tasted. By adding this, something will happen, and I don't know what. <laughs> We brew at a pretty furious rate here. We brew anywhere from five to seven days a week, like physically process work. The name Tired Hands in its most simplistic form is, uh, you know, the inevitable culmination of a hard day's work is Tired Hands, so. This is not a brewing-related accident. Uh, I should bullshit you and tell you it is, but I was um, <clears throat> cruising on my, on my bicycle, sort of nicked a curb, and currently enjoying the presence of seven screws in a plate. I've been interested in a number of uh, things throughout my life, you know, filmmaking, animation, education, but brewing for whatever reason just really spoke to me. Uh, I, I dug the lifestyle before I worked at a brewery. Uh, it made a lot of sense to me, and now I own a brewery, so. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard this before, but brewing is waiting, you know, hurry up and wait. I'm the kind of person that if I'm interested in something, I sink my teeth into it, and uh, I have to learn top to bottom, how, why, what makes it run, uh, how's it done, and that's how I started homebrewing, is just this sort of borderline obsessive uh, drive to understand what I thought was a really beautiful finished product. It's been said many times before, but brewing is cleaning. And to break it down, I mean, brewing is this sort of delicate confluence of biology, physics, chemistry, arts, and janitorial work. So here we are at our, the first floor of Tired Hands Brewing Company. Concrete bar, eight beers on tap. Up here is our food menu slash little merch stand. This is Tom Colton, one of our local farmers who supplies us with wonderful things that we brew wonderful beer with. Shaka brada. This, this is the brewery, we call it the Zoory, uh, because there's so much glass you can see through and while we're open for business, it is a little bit of sort of this like caged animal feel in here because everyone's pushing their nose up against the glass to see what we're adding to the kettle next. Uh, so this is the brewery. This is rather one third of the brewery, the hot side of the brewery. So this is our mash tun. This is our kettle. All right, so let me take you on a tour of the kitchen now. Tour is beginning. Tour is ending. Swatch your head down here. So uh, we're entering our dry food storage area slash bottle conditioning area. So this is the Saison dungeon. Um, all of these dish bottom tanks ferment our saisons. Actually, these, these are from Tom Colton, who's upstairs. We're, we're, we're brewing a, uh, a, a sour beer with these tomorrow. We have a series of saisons that uh, sort of revolve around the, the idea of emptiness. We'll be, we'll be emptying this barrel and sending it into our conditioning tank 
on top of around 100 pounds of wine grapes that Tom Colton supplied us with. Yeah, this, this barrel creates a very, very pungent, almost Chardonnay-like saison. Just it's the melange of microflora in there. A little leathery, a little watermelon mineral. Yeah, I think this is my favorite barrel in the entire building. Just the perfect amount of lactic acid. The menu is very simple and satisfying, is how I like to describe it. I'm responsible for pretty much all of the food here at Tired Hands. Everything pretty much focuses around our house-made bread, and everything else sort of revolves around what is available locally, what tastes good at any given moment. So at Tired Hands, we keep eight beers on tap at all times. So I'm gonna pour myself a Hop Hands. I refer to it as our everyday beer around here. Um, I quite like that we brew this beer consistently and it really hasn't changed all that much over the past you know, two and a half years that we've been brewing it here. Saison Hands, which is uh, equally as simple as, as our uh, Hop Hands, I guess less complex in terms of hops, more complex in terms of yeast. Yeah, and again, 4.8%, just a really, uh, perfect drinking beer, a uh, simple house beer, table beer, if you will. Keeping in line with our hop forward focus with our brewing, uh, I'm gonna pour an IPA that we have on tap right now called Death Tripper. The hopping regimen on this is really intense and really interesting. We actually use a, um, a varietal of hop called Galaxy. It has notes of like melon meets green pepper. Very proud to have uh, produced it. Chupacabra is a, um, a pretty straightforward porter, brewed with a plethora of uh, specialty malts, uh, caramel 30, caramel 60 for those beer geeks out there. It is a mole porter, so uh, we spiced it with uh, a blend of cayenne pepper, cinnamon, locally roasted coffee from Reanimator Coffee, and we condition this beer post-fermentation on right around 55 pounds of chocolate. The, the name of a beer can be inspired from literally anything. I do the art for Tired Hands. Uh, I, I feel it's very important uh, running a small business to, to control it and, you know, especially the aesthetics of it. Every time that we tap a new beer, I draw a window uh, drawing that correlates to it. That's how we advertise, you know, via social media. I've been drawing this, this way since I was, I don't know, in eighth grade in math class, you know, doodling on the side of my test. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of reward at the end of the day. Uh, this, is, this is my life. This is uh, the sort of trajectory that I put myself on over a decade ago, and I think that rules.